Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Munya Peter Munya has vowed to engage the National Treasury on reduction or zero rating of taxes and levies on agricultural inputs, machinery and fishing equipment to make farming attractive, especially to the youth. Speaking at the fourth Intergovernmental Agriculture Forum in Mombasa, Munya said the high cost of farm inputs and pesticides is contributing to low productivity. The cost of agricultural production in Kenya are high when compared to Tanzania and Uganda, mainly due to lower taxes. In 2020, National Treasury imposed a 14% VAT on farm equipment such as plows, harrows, planters, sprayers, harvesters and balers. Local farmers have also been plagued with high cost of seeds, fertilizer and pesticides. Speaking at the fourth Intergovernmental Agricultural Forum, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya pledged to engage the National Treasury on reduction or zero rating of some taxes and levies on agricultural inputs, machinery and fishing equipment as well as animal feeds. We are therefore are appealing that uh, those taxation or those taxes are removed or zero rated uh, so that that can improve adoption of uh, agricultural inputs. Bring in technology to bridge the gap um, but we've also emphasized that uh, extension is key, uh, given that uh, most of our farmers are small scale farmers. While acknowledging the need to reform the agricultural sector through strengthening of intergovernmental relations and enhancing accountability, Monia noted that all agriculture data systems at both levels of government will be linked to Kenya management information system within the next one month. And we are committing ourselves as we leave to actually conclude within one month a plan, timelines, a plan with timelines on how we implement this resolution. Delegates called for finalization and enactment of the Cooperative Bill 2021 and implementation of reforms in the cooperative movement to instill efficient management practices. Caroline Jenga for Prime Edition.